are. All right, so join me in a little unboxing session here. We've got one box from Acme Tools. That's right here. We'll open that last. And then we got another box here from our friends over at Norspec Built. They sent us a little package and we're gonna go ahead and see what we got coming in. Um, we got a few things coming from them in the future here real quick, so stay tuned for that. That is for the LBZ. It's for the LBZ. Just a quick unboxing video for you guys this week. Uh, like I said, we've got <clears throat> some stuff coming on. I'm hoping to get the uh, leaf springs put back together this week, so you should see that in next week's video. Um, I should also probably be getting the rear end put back together, all that kind of fun stuff. So. LBZ will be back on the road soon, right away. Let's see here, we've got a Norspec built. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you in for this. We've got Norspec built decal, which is always nice. And we've got some American flags, this is awesome. Holy cow, look at this, I wasn't expecting these. This is a uh, cutout metal. This is awesome. It's got four holes here. You can basically stainless steel rivet it to any metal if you want to, like a bumper or something. Um, toolbox, anything you want. You can powder coat this any color or keep it raw. I would suggest powder coating it or painting it. Wow, this is unexpected, sweet. And then we've got the hoodie, nice. Another small decal, which this is pretty cool. Oh, that is sick. That is a sweet decal. It is a exhaust tip decal. That is freaking sweet. I mean, that is a spinning image of my exhaust tip from, that I have from them. I actually have it off. Oh, I didn't want to get my hands dirty today. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. And a hoodie. Anything else? Sweet. Let's get this on. This is definitely a lightweight hoodie, that's for sure. Oh, okay. There we go. Fits really nice, you guys. The beanie. Hell yeah, and I can work outside in style. I'm gonna rock this shit while we're uh, doing the LBC leaf springs. Hell yeah, you guys. Y'all know I'm a big hat wearer, so this is awesome. This is this is awesome. You guys don't have to do this. Um, big supporter of North Spec Built. They're up in Canada there. Dairy. I'm uh, from Wisconsin, so I say A all the time. But um, <clears throat> great company. I mean, they're a great company. I highly recommend them to anybody. Uh, awesome product. Amazing product. Great t exhaust tips. You can customize pretty much anything you want. Um, this American flag, I've decided I'm probably going to throw on my bumper or something like that. I have a steel bumper, so... Probably gonna throw this on the bumper. These things, this is awesome. I didn't expect this to come in the mail. Um, they only asked me what my size sweatshirt is. He sent me a message on Instagram because I do have a really good relationship with them. And uh, I said what, what they said and I didn't expect all of this stuff. So this is outstanding and I appreciate it. Now let's go ahead, unbox what we got from Acme Tools. All right, so what we're unboxing here from Acme Tools is, I'll give you a little secret. It is a pre-order order you could say a pre-order order you could say um that i did so i'm pretty excited about it uh the first one out of the bat here is we've got the big old 32 ounce milwaukee ball peen hammer the dead blow ball peen and then we've also got a 16 ounce milwaukee ball peen dead blow hammer as well now these are filled it's hard to hear let's see if i can hold on they are filled um, I'm not sure about the 16 ounce here. Let me, I'll see for a second here. Oh. They are filled. Sure enough. ASMR. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I've got a cold. 
and I made myself laugh. ASMR. I don't know how that turned out in the video, but. I'm excited for this. I um, don't actually have ball peen hammers. And I was actually going to get the Icon ones. And the reason why I didn't get the Icon ones is I saw Milwaukee came out with these recently. Um, they also have a Dead Blow one that I did order, but it's still pre ordered. A different, dead, a soft Dead Blow. Um, I do have soft Dead Blows, but I figured, well, why not? I might as well give them a shot. But um, I was going to order the Icon ones, and then I was going to order. Uh, the big fancy brand, I forget. Uh, I forget what it is. They're high. They're extremely high quality hammers. You guys can let me know in the comments below. I, uh, spacing on me, anyways. But anyways, and then I saw these come out, and Acme Tools had a sale on them, and I thought it was weird that they had a pre-order sale on them. So I said, you know what? Let's screw it. Let's just go for it. Let's order them up. And I can tell you right now, first initial thoughts. I'm excited. These things are badass. Seriously, look at these bad boys. You can't, they feel good. They feel really good. Um, they're heavy, you know, 32 ounces. They feel good. They're, they feel like they're going to do a lot of get what you have to get off, especially here in the rust belt. Uh, we deal with a lot of things to try and knock off and these ball peen dead hammers really really come in handy here in the rust belt you guys in the south i know you deal with it and you guys have to use them for sure um things don't just come off like butter although sometimes they do trust me i know <coughs> um but anyways you know ball peen hammers are extremely dead bull ball ball peen hammers are extremely important if you're doing any diy home mechanics if you're a mechanic you know Really, in general, great use for dead blow ball peens in general. You know, they give you um, a little bit extra punch with that with it being filled. And I, everyone says they're filled with sand. I don't think they're filled with sand. I think it's like a little, little, little tiny black beads. I forget what they're called. Um, it, it might even be like tungsten. I think it might be tungsten. Um, they're not filled with sand. I think they're filled with tungsten or um, bismuth. Might be bismuth even, because bismuth, bismuth is heavier than tungsten, I believe. So, but anyways, they're great. Um, I can't give you an honest review on them right now. Uh, my initial thoughts of them, I'm pretty happy. The uh, part number here looks like 4822-9140 for the Milwaukee 16-ounce ball peen hammer. And then we've got a part number for 482291 for one for the 32 ounce Milwaukee ball peen hammer and I can tell you right now if you don't have a ball peen hammer this is a good one this is this is pretty damn high quality until we really start slinging and really until we really start slinging it we're really gonna find out the quality of them but man you know the way tools are nowadays you guys you really can't go wrong with much of the um, mid-grade to higher quality because they're so close in production nowadays like the icon these milwaukee's your snap-ons um you know you're talking mid-grade to high grade and yes icon is a mid-grade tool i i don't give a shit what you say icon's a mid-grade tool um it's not a bottom grade it's not a bottom feeder tool um milwaukee tools they're mid-grade tools um but there's such a fine line now between that mid-grade and high-grade that nowadays it's like, you know, I just couldn't justify the whole kit on the snap-on kit the, the, for the hammer set. I really wanted to. Um, and I might still in the future if these don't pan out. But I can tell you right now, I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm really happy with um, Norspec built. Shout out to you guys, seriously. Um, you, you didn't have to do that, and I really appreciate it. Shout out to Acme Tools. Um, I wouldn't buy, I'm not sponsored by Acme Tools at all. I'm not sponsored by Norspec Build either, so um, I wouldn't buy from Acme Tools, okay? Uh, for those of you that know, uh, that have Kohl's, do you have any Kohl's department stores in your area? For all, any of you that have a Kohl's department store, I would not buy from Acme Tools, because it's like Kohl's. It's like the online tool version of Kohl's. 
Because Kohl's, you know, jacks up, you, jacks up the price, then they throw their sale price sticker on there. But if you go price check that anywhere else, it's like the same cost. <coughs> so Acme Tools is kind of like that. They, they have a higher price. And then their sale price is kind of like your cost of your northern tool in your Home Depot. So I wouldn't wouldn't recommend buying from Acme Tool. If you're gonna go for a tool online store that you're looking for deals, um, I would do. It's called they're called Tech Choice Tools. I found them on TikTok. I would suggest going to Tech Toy Tech Choice Tools .com. They get a lot of exclusives through Milwaukee to be able to run off awesome ones as well as Koken. They sell a lot of exclusive deals that Koken gives them permission to do for a certain amount of time. And uh, so that's that's who I would suggest online. But I um, wouldn't suggest buying from, from Acme Tools. They did have a weird random sale. I don't know if Milwaukee had them put out a, hey, we're, we're, we're putting these out, we're putting these tools out. So uh, we want you to run this special, this sale on them to get people on pre-orders. They got me. And I'm pretty happy that they got me because man, these deserve a good home and my home's where they belong. So I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I know yesterday was a little simple Harbor Freight power strip. If you didn't watch that video, I'll link it below for you guys watch it. It's a pretty good video. If you don't have any power on your toolbox, it's a pretty simple way to get power. Um, out, outlet strip with USB to your toolbox. There's other ways, other outlet strips out there, but this one's really slim. Um, it's magnetic and stuff, so. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, follow the podcast. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support. Like I said, the leaf spring should be getting installed next week, this coming week. <clears throat> so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, have yourselves a good day or good night or good morning. It all depends what you do. See you guys later.